developed this new track mm -hmm. and we uh, we seen what we can do with it. So uh, we now know what is possible. And with the new track, uh, even on a wood structure, we can do most all the tricks that any coaster can do with what we can. So it's. Uh, it's just turned out to be a tremendous uh, innovation. Um, the car, we developed this car specifically for our tracks. Um, we developed class 5 restraints that were approved that we are only using the lap system instead of the And we're turning upside down now with the coach. So, um, that's where we're at today. And Silver Dollar City has given us the opportunity to, do, to work with them to do this. Uh, they work with us in uh, the development of uh, car, uh, all kinds of things. So. How different is it to design a coaster on terrain where you've actually got something as opposed to just a flat lot? Does that make it easier or more challenging? Well, Hopefully this will change everything at all. It's uh, more challenging. Um, the design is more challenging for Alan. Uh, we're following a terrain and we have to. But on the other hand, we use the terrain to uh, to make a, a large drop of the you know, just pit. So and he can go through the terrain. So we could, uh, we could use the, use the valleys as uh, low points. So, you know, a lot of uh, roller coaster fans who've been around for a while think wooden coaster going upside down, they think about Son of Beast. How is this going to be a different experience than for some of the people who might have felt uh, a little sore after coming out of that one? Well, uh, we, it's proven through uh, our track technologies that, like on the Texas Giant, how smooth mm -hmm. the ride is. Steel this ride will be that smooth. Uh, the structure of our track is so much stronger than traditional wood track that we're able to uh, put those types of horses on it and make it work. Uh, going, you know, all upside down and so forth. So that's the difference. So this will work.